I'm currently suffering from art block. So this is a draw with me. Draw with me while I'm suffering from this utterly heartbroken pain in my body. Oh my God, I can't. For the past like three days, I can't. God, I don't know what to draw. I can't draw. I can't. I physically can't open my sketchbook. It's really hard to like create stuff like either on my sketchbook or like in Procreate, and I can't do it because my body's like suffering. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna force myself to draw. I'm gonna force myself to get something in my sketchbook because I'm getting very close to finishing up my sketchbook and I'm so excited to start a new one. So I'm gonna do a draw with me video and I think I'm gonna put this at real time too so you guys can see how actually like how long it takes for me to finish a drawing. So um, currently in my sketchbook, so yesterday I forced myself to draw and I drew Tay um, from his like most recent Instagram post because I saw it and I'm like I should try forcing myself to draw that. So I did, and I really like how it turned out, honestly. So I'm going to um, throw on a video in the back because I like watching art videos while I'm drawing or something. So I'm gonna have that be playing and I'll just do like a voiceover, you know, just a chatty one and telling you guys some ways of how to get over this pain and suffering that you are currently having in your life. Probably fangirl over BTS for a little bit, you know, because that's just, that's just how I am. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy the video. Oh my God, wow, another voiceover video. Second voiceover video on this channel. Um, I'm still not used to doing voiceovers, but I have to at some point because I'm gonna keep making videos, of course. So I'm gonna, gonna force myself. Cool. <laughs> Um, right now I'm drawing Tay, um, he, this is from his most recent Instagram post too, um, same with the picture on the left, and honestly, I draw Tay all the time when I don't know what to draw, because at this point he's like a muse in my sketchbook, because he has such like a recognizable face, and he has a nice, he has a nice face, he's a, he has a nice face too on top of that, so, um, it's kind of easy for me to draw him at this point, especially since I did face studies for all the BTS members. <laughs> So it's, it's really easy to draw him. Um, but back to the topic as to why I'm making this video, I have art block and it's pretty bad because I haven't gotten art block in, I'd say like almost a year at this point. So when I first got it, um, like a week ago, it's, it's a week from now since I'm recording this voiceover and it's, it was surprising. Like, honestly, it was, it was really surprising because I didn't think I would get it again because I've been doing so well like to not get art block because I've been drawing a lot lately, honestly. And I think that's one of the reasons as to why I got it in the first place. Um, but starting off with um, my points of this video, um, what's art block? What is art block in the first place? Like, what is that, man? Um, I made my own definition for it, actually. <laughs> and i said it's an obstacle that blocks your way from creativity and honestly it just sums it up in the first place like you can get art block from drawing painting or whatever you can get writer's block not knowing what to write if you're a writer and you also you can also get like um songwriter block too like if you're a songwriter and you are writing a song or something yeah it's everywhere and um some people in the artist community actually think it's not real at all uh-uh no ma'am, no ma'am. It's 100% real. It's real. I have it right now and it sucks. And a week from now, I'm probably not gonna be able to draw that much too because usually my art blocks, it like last about two weeks, sometimes less, but I have a feeling that it's gonna last up to two weeks, the usual, because um, as of now, I'm not, I haven't drawn anything yet either. And it's been a week <laughs> since I did um, this video since I recorded it. So yeah, I definitely think it's going to be a little longer for me to get cured of this art block. <laughs> but let's go on to what causes art block in the first place. Like what what made you have this in the first place? Um, for me personally, I think I've been burnt out. I gotten really burnt out from 
um, college, from going to work, and from life in general. Um, on top of that, I suffer from like really high functioning anxiety, overthinking, and depression. Those three problems have been um, really bad in my life, honestly, and I've had them ever since I was little and growing up. <laughs> so I definitely think just having all that on my mind and having it mentally just burnt me out at some point. But other than that, let's go over other causes I think could cause your art block in the first place. Um, that could be running out of ideas. I run out of ideas quite a bit um, as to why I go on Pinterest a lot, but then if I go on Pinterest, I go on the endless scrolling of looking at a bunch of references and not being able to pick one. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, you can just run out of ideas, but you can eventually look for some new ones in the first place. Um, lack of motivation, that's a big one. Um, having bad art days, your environment. How does your environment look? Like, are you working at your desk? Are you working at the kitchen? Um, outside? Anywhere, really. Your environment just impacts how you're going to handle this drawing, honestly. For me, my environment is in my room. It's at my desk, and my desk is always neat and tidy, and everything is where it's supposed to be in the first place. Um, for example, my pencil case is always by my mirror, 100%. I just grab it, take whatever I need out, put it back where it was. <laughs> So my environment is pretty hard to mess up in the first place because it's in my room. Um, since I'm in my room, I can literally put my sketchbook down, turn around and hop in bed if I get tired, and watch TikToks for the next like two hours that's coming up, honestly. Um, and also, I think I'm going to start talking in the video right here about the drawing I'm working on. So I'll just let the video play for a second. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit his legs in here honestly <laughs> like looking at the picture i don't think i'm going to be able to fit his legs in here and i'm so sad because i really want to draw his shoes oh i love drawing shoes but i don't think he's gonna fit so sorry tay looks like you're gonna have this kind of leg or something damn man my bad he's gonna have half legs this looks so funny, I don't know why. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this up. <laughs> See, what did I say? What did I tell you? I got frustrated because he couldn't fit his legs in the drawing. <laughs> so I had to cut his legs in half. That sucks. But anyways, um, another cause, what I think causes art block for you would definitely be seeing others' art and not wanting to draw out of the fear of not getting better. It's a little confusing, but if I explain it, it makes a lot more sense. So when you look at other um, people's art, you're like, wow, that looks amazing. I'm never going to draw like that. I'm never going to get better. I'm not going to improve. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean. You see other people's art and you're going to think you can't improve or you can't be as good enough as they are. And it gets you having that lack of motivation and not wanting to draw. And it sucks because that happens to me as well. Um, whenever I go on Instagram, I see a bunch of art and I'm like, wow, that looks so cool. My art sucks. I want to burn my sketchbook. You know, everyone gets that at that point. But it's okay to feel like that though when you are creating something. It's normal. It's every artist goes through that at that at the, some point, you know. So from me to you, it's okay to feel like that. It's okay. Um, it happens to everyone. And it happened to me earlier today too when I was looking on my Instagram feed and I saw like one of my favorite artists makes something and i was like wow oh my god oh i'm gonna talk again hold on <laughs> you know after finishing this um drawing tay in these glasses um kind of reminds me of that one bts song where they um had the chance to make their own mv um spinebreaker <laughs> and he like wears those glasses i think he was like wearing like a beige suit i think but <laughs> I remember watching it. It was so funny. Um, let's move on to the next drawing. I don't know what I'm gonna draw next. Um, might as well do another Tay because this looks like a Tay spread to me at this point. So, um, I'll probably add a couple more things to this page and then I should be done by then. 
Also, did y'all see like Tay's new post? Like on Instagram? I saw it today. And like his hair is now like um like a dark gray and it kind of reminds me of um his DNA era where he had like a gray, dark gray, like silver hair. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. And there's a jet going over my house. Oh, love Arizona. Amazing. Anyways, um in the video. I went over Spinebreaker. Love that song, by the way. Love the music video that they made. <laughs> um, Stan BTS. Thank you. Oh my god, I forgot to fangirl about BTS. Um, yeah. Crazy. How did I forget? <laughs> um, uh, of course I'm fangirling anyways as I'm drawing Taehyung BTS. So, it's, I think that's enough fangirling for the day. <laughs> I already said, a, already said a bunch in the video, so it's fine. Um, but moving on, um, let's talk about how we can fix our block. How do we fix it? Um, you could start on projects. You can make, like, comics, you can make cards, or you can, like, make random dorky stickers or something. You can also make fan art. I make a lot of fan art, of course. I make a lot of fan art of, I don't know, um, uh, my favorite K-pop band, BTS or something. I don't know. Just... Just showing you, because it's not that obvious that I like BTS or anything crazy. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> Another one would definitely to be like go outside. Draw what you see, you know? Draw a building that's in front of your house. Um, draw plants, draw animals, whatever. Um, step outside for a second, get some fresh air, sun, or whatever it is. Especially if you're in Arizona, aka me. Um, and draw what you see. Um, it helps a lot. Just do like landscapes, you know? Um, you can also create an original character. For me, I have four OCs. I have Alex, Jaehyun, I have Minsu, and I also have um, a else character named Cedric. I created them a long time ago, mainly Alex, and I mainly talk about Alex the most because he's my first ever OC I ever made. And um, here's a picture of him, by the way, if you want to see how he looks like, <laughs> if you don't know how he looks like, but he's cute. Um, you can like create your OC by off like, um, a music artist or like an actor or something um i don't think i based alex off of anyone but um i don't i don't think so probably like a k-pop idol or something because i made him back in like eighth grade that's when i really truly got into like k-pop so <laughs> um what else take it slow you know you you've been struggling you've been crying because you can't draw anything just take it slow you know um do stick figures or something <laughs> do dorky faces in your sketchbook i don't know whatever works for you um you can find a balance um find a balance between um your art and life in general honestly um you can also take a break taking taking breaks are really important it's really hard for me to because um i'm a so-called busybody by my boyfriend he calls me that literally all the time because i always want to do something so productive like drawing or schoolwork or studying or anything like that or reading even <laughs> so it's a little hard for me to take a break but for your sake take a break do it go to another hobby or um chill out and binge watch movies for a couple of days whatever works for you um one of my friends actually has this for herself when she has art block make a schedule make a schedule you know and she was um texting me about it earlier and she was like oh yeah i like make schedules like i draw on monday i draw on wednesday and then i draw over the weekend and i'm like oh my god you're a genius i'm putting that in my video and she's like okay period you know <laughs> so make a schedule create days that are art days create days that are rest days it's going to help you throughout the end and once you're over this art block do whatever you want forget the schedule you know or just stick with it either one and last but not least, push through it. You, you can, you can do it. Just, just force yourself. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm forcing myself to draw. I, I'm forcing myself to draw Tae Young of BTS. Okay, so that's 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 really it. Honestly, just force yourself if you have to, because I just hate myself so much. I'm deciding to force myself to draw. So that's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna talk again in a little bit too on top of that so i'm just gonna stop the voice over here but yeah cool hold on i'll be back no i feel like this is missing something 
So I think I'm gonna use either my oil pastels or my markers to fill up the space in the background. Oh my God, now we got a bunch of oil pastels. These look all gross. Those look all gross. Why did I let myself take that out when they're looking all gross like that? Ew. I mean, the oil pastels don't look that bad as I'm using them. They do break a little easily, I can tell by how it's looking. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I actually really like how the drawing turned out, honestly. It's probably one of my favorites now in my sketchbook. Um, I like how the yellow kind of makes the drawing pop out since it's just only pencil and it's like dark and you know, negative space or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the meaning of the word. But I hope you guys like the drawing too and enjoy the video. So bye. See ya.